Algebra review. Our question says solve and check 4x squared take away 15 equals 469. So when a question asks you to solve, what it wants us to do is figure out what number we could put in in place of x that would make the left side of this equation equal 469. So the method that I like to use is rearranging to isolate for x using opposite operations. And in order to do that, we really need to understand bed mass, which is the order of operations. So when you're evaluating a question, so if you're given something with numbers to work out, you start by doing any brackets, then exponents, then division and multiplication, we work that left to right, and addition and subtraction, same thing, you just work it left to right. When you're solving an equation, you actually do bed mass backwards, which is called SAMDEM. And that tells us what order we're going to try to move things to the other side or eliminate things. So if I have the equation 4x squared take away 15 equals 469, what I want to do is I want to try to isolate or get alone that x squared. And I'm going to do that by canceling out all the operations like take away 15, multiply by 4, and a power of 2 by doing the opposite operation. And I start with subtraction and addition. So I notice that I have a subtract 15. So that's going to be the first thing that I want to try to get rid of. So to cancel out a minus 15, we are going to do the opposite operation and add 15. And the rule with solving equations is that whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So if I add 15 to this side, we are going to add 15 to that side. So we're going to be left with 4x squared. Negative 15 plus 15 cancel each other out, so that's just 0. And then 469 plus 15 is 484. So I've done the addition and subtraction, and now I have multiplication, right, 4 times x, and I have a power of 2. So if I move along the line, we've done the addition and subtraction, multiplication and division is the next thing that I need to move over to the other side. So I'm going to take that multiply by 4 and do the opposite, which would be divide by 4, and divide both sides by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. So this is going to be 1x squared, but we don't usually write the 1 in. We usually just write x squared. And 484 divided by 4 is 121. So our last thing we have is the exponent, right? That comes after the multiplication and division. So the opposite of an exponent, like a square, is actually a square root. So we are going to take the square root of both sides. So the square root and the square cancel each other out, and we're just left with a single x. And the square root of 121 is 11. So our answer is x equals 11. And that's the solving part. So if I take 11 and put it into here, I should get that this 4x squared minus 15 should equal 469. And that's where the check comes in. So checking is where we take our answer, put it back into the equation, and see whether or not our answer is indeed correct. So I'm going to do a quick check. I like to do that by making a t-chart. So I put the left side of the equation on the left side of the t-chart and the right side of the equation on the right side of the t-chart. And then what I'm going to do is take 11, and everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put in the number 11. So I'm going to start on the left side. So I have 4 times x, which is 11, squared, take away 15. And I'm just going to focus on this side. So in order to evaluate this, we use SAMDEB when we're rearranging, when we're moving things to the other side of the equal sign. If we're just trying to evaluate, that's what bed mass is for. So I would start with brackets. There's nothing to do in the bracket. Exponents. So I'm going to do 11 to the power of 2, which is 121. 
And then I'm going to do multiplication and division next. So I have 4 times 121, which is 484. And then I'm going to subtract 15. That's the last thing left to do. And I get 469. Now we take a look on this side. There was no x. It's just a 469. So I see that the two sides are equal, hooray, which means that 11 is actually the correct answer for this question. And that's solving equations uh, using exponents and opposite operations.